hello and welcome to my youtube channel azure and me if you are uh, new to my channel uh, uh, welcome and if you have already seen uh, some of my videos thanks for coming uh, again to watch uh, this video today we're gonna see how a message uh, uh, which uh, we, we, uh, something can be inputted uh, uh, can be transferred uh, to a queue storage uh, which is part of a storage account so uh, uh, there's a queues containers tables uh, and blobs so here uh, when a message comes in we can see how this message can be transferred into a queue using a uh, uh, function uh, uh, having a trigger http trigger we can use an http trigger uh, function to transfer a queue message uh, to a queue storage so in order to do that we need the following so we're going to create a storage account um, and then we're going to create a queue storage and then we're going to create a function app using http trigger and then we're going to write some uh, .NET code to get the connections and then uh, uh, to transfer the message and then it goes into the message queue so uh, here uh, uh, there's something called Azure Storage Explorer so when the message comes uh, into the queue then we can use an uh, Azure Storage Explorer to view it from your desktop or you can either uh, uh, check it out in the uh, dev portal from portal azure.com so we can do it uh, either way I can show you uh, at the end how we can see it at Azure Storage Explorer. For time being, I'll just download it. Um, let's start by creating a uh, storage account. So let's go to storage account create. I'll create a new uh, resource group called function queue. Create a new storage account. Just name it as function queue. To make it unique, uh, I'll choose the location as uh, West Europe since I'm uh, living in West Europe. Yep. Uh, and for the rest, I keep it as it is review and create and create this may take a minute or so uh, to complete the deployment meanwhile we just uh, install the uh, storage uh, explorer Uh, install Next, yeah. let it finish so uh, now the uh, resource group is ready and then we we'll create a queue uh, under data storage there's queues I'll create a new queue I'll name it as incoming because we're gonna receive the message so just a naming convention so the queue is ready next step would be to create a function app so let me go to function app um, I wanted to create a new function app uh, let's create Because I already had one, so uh, yeah. Uh, function. I'll just uh, choose the resource group that we have created now. So call it as function queue. Choose uh, runtime stack as .NET and uh, location as West Europe. create a new function app meanwhile the storage explorer is uh, 
it's getting installed. Which one is going to finish first? Deployment or the installation? Yeah, it's the installation. So, so both are complete. Let's uh, time being we'll focus on the function app. So let's go to a uh, resource. Uh, meanwhile, what we can also do is uh, we, uh, now we need to make a connection between the queue storage that we have created uh, with the function app. So in order to uh, make an establishment, uh, we need to get the uh, connection string. So uh, we can go to a storage account, go to access keys, and here we can click on show keys. Uh, we're going to copy this connection tree from the key one. Uh, so yeah, let's copy it. Uh, I'll store it. So go to the function app. Uh, under the settings, uh, you can see there's a configuration. Here we're going to add this uh, connection uh, string. So here I, I'll just going to go to a new application settings. I'm going to say function cube and then uh, the connection string which I copied. So here you can see that the, uh, the connection string has been added as a part of application check settings and I'm going to save this. been updated successfully uh, let's go to functions and I'm going to create a new functions uh, it's going to be an HTTP trigger as we uh, said earlier so here you can see I'm going to choose an HTTP trigger template so uh, we can give a Q transfer just a naming uh, we create a new uh, function using HTTP trigger There we go. Yeah, so when you click on code plus test, it's going to give you a sample code uh, 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 as you can see here. Uh, before we're going to write something over here, what we need to do is uh, since uh, we're going to transfer the uh, message to a, a queue storage so we need to have an, a, a library uh, that should be used uh, uh, over here uh, for the queue so uh, how do we do it uh, we just go to function queue there's something interesting called app service editor preview we can click over here where oh, and click on go Here it's going to open an app service editor here you can see that the function that uh, we have created and the, uh, the, the the respective files are, are over here here we're going to add a, 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 a small snippet where it's going to uh, get a, the library uh, what it does is basically just uh, connects with the new, new get package and then downloads the respective li libraries that we need so I have a small snippet for it. I'll just uh, call this function as uh, function dot project, and uh, over here, yep. 
So here, what you, uh, what you are saying, like we're gonna get a SDK for uh, Azure Storage Queue. So this uh, this library, uh, we just gonna add it over uh, in this place so that we're gonna use it late, later in the code. So this is a very important step. So once this is done, uh, we're gonna go back to the function uh, where we created new HTTP trigger and, and the, under the code and test. If we don't do the previous step, then uh, we're going to use the library uh, called azure.storage.queues. Then it's not going to be available. So, so, the, uh, so now we're going to add this uh, azure.storage.queues, and we're going to remove all this uh, the template-related codes. So what we're going to do now, we're going to get uh, we, whatever the, the incoming message that we're going to give it. We need to read that first. Uh, so uh, let's create a variable called message await. We use uh, uh, object and a class called new stream reader. And uh, we're going to get the information from the input so we go give it as request dot body and then read to end async so we call we, we're gonna receive a message and it's gonna store it in a variable uh, called message now uh, the, the interesting part is the connection string uh, we need uh, so the, the the connection string that is stored in the um, application settings under the configuration we need to get that information so how are we gonna do it uh, we're going to use environment dot get environment variable. If I remember correctly, we gave uh, the variable name as function q255 uh, as a variable name, and then not to get that uh, particular connection string so uh, we're going to use environment variable target dot process so here we're going to store that uh, connection uh, string information uh, the next step we're going to declare uh, uh, we need to get a queue client so that's why we needed that uh, library so we're going to use the queue client queue client and uh, this queue client takes two uh, parameters. One is the connection string, which uh, we got it from the previous step, and uh, it needs uh, the queue name. So uh, I think we gave it as incoming. So th those are the two parameters that the queue client needs. And that queue client uh, now uh, needs to uh, get the message in. So uh, uh, what we're going to do? This queue client dot send message and we pass the message that uh, we got it the first step yeah so once this is uh, successful let's see if we get a okay response then we type it okay message received hopefully uh, this works so what we are doing is uh, we are trying to get the whatever the message that we are uh, giving as an input, and uh, we're gonna uh, we are establishing uh, getting a connection string with the queue storage, and uh, using a queue client uh, function, uh, we are trying to get the uh, queue name, and then we try we send that uh, message uh, to the queue client. Um, so let's run and see what happens. So here is a simple body message. So this is what, uh, hello. Transfer, transferring data or message to Q. So this is gonna be a post because we are posting uh, this message uh, to the queue um, so it's going to be a post request and uh, this body information uh, let's see uh, 
if it's going to be transferred successfully. Uh, we got some error. Ah, typo, I think. Uh, variable target. Uh, let's run it again. Uh, uh, as you can see, the body message we're saying like a hello transferring message to queue. As you can see, we got a uh, 200 OK uh, HTTP response code, so which is good. And we can also see it, that our message has been printed over here, message re received. Um, so let's go back to the uh, storage queue to see if we received a message into our queue storage. Um, uh, storage account. 255 and Q. Let's keep on incoming. Here you can see that the message has been successfully transferred uh, uh, to an incoming queue uh, using HTTP trigger. So here you can see that uh, the message has been transferred. Let's see the same thing uh, using Explorer as well. Um, uh, using a, um, Azure Storage Explorer. So uh, this, uh, this is asking how we want to connect. We can either connect through subscription or using storage account. I'm just going to give it with a storage account with a connection string. Storage connection. And I need to get the uh, connection string. the storage account let's go to access keys again to get the connection string next connect here you can see the connection has been successfully added and uh, click on open explorer uh, we are interested in uh, the storage account. Let's see the queues. Ah, there's an incoming uh, queue. And here you can also see that, that the message that uh, we transferred uh, is available. Hello, transferring message to queue. So this is the other way where you can uh, use uh, to, to use uh, um, see all the storage uh, information can be used to see all blob containers or uh, tables uh, queues and file shares so if this one is locally we can just make use of it or you want to check it in portal is also possible uh, we can do it in uh, both the ways so uh, that's it uh, thanks a lot for uh, watching uh, this vi uh, video